This is older eliminator stain eliminator. This is all I got right now, but. Some people, what I was trying to say is some people, they take their feet and they step on the uh, the clothes. Some people take a plunger. I think my go-to would be a plunger, but I, I don't got a clean plunger. Like just, I got to probably buy one. But uh, basically you could wash clothes. Um, you could wash clothes in the tub uh so i just got some laundry detergent in here as you can see it looked like more more bubbles and so y'all can see it look like it looks like more laundry detergent is in here um because laundry detergent is in here uh what my one of my next goals or endeavors is gonna have to be to go ahead and maybe go to Target or Walmart or whatever and see if I never checked for like vegetarian or just like all natural detergent. But I think that'll be cool to keep like inside of my luggage bag because at the end of the day, I don't, I'm not big on going to laundromats. I'm not big on going to like, uh, I'm not big on. You know, I'm a minimalist, so like I only got a couple of clothes. I don't think it's really sane for me to go to a big building full of machines and do all of that. I don't have a car right now. I think a lot of people uh, want me to live up to what they do. But in all reality, that's not a realistic expectation. So right now you can see the, the water is dirty and I got dirty really quick. And uh 
let, let me know in the comments below how often do y'all wash y'all clothes and do y'all do the um did y'all ever try this way or not see if i had you know constant money i probably wouldn't even do it like this but i'm happy i'm doing it this way because i could save all my money in the future so i guess you could do this with your hands by just like you know messing with it like this or whatever but that kind of don't feel like my best thing when I'm um, this is only four items. I got a black t-shirt somewhere. I don't even know where I'll put the bl my black t-shirt at, but that's probably the most, well, it's not the most important thing. Cause when I go outside, I could really wear this hoodie or I could wear this, uh, Adidas, Adidas uh, thing. But the truth of the matter is like, um, <clears throat> I don't, matter of fact, the reason why the black tee don't need to be washed because I already washed it in the sink. So like t-shirts, socks, and any under underclothes could be just washed in the sink. So it's like the sink and the tub is two places where you can really just do everything. You don't have to go to a laundry mat. You don't have to waste your money, you know what I'm saying? But everybody who do, shout out to them, you know what I'm saying? Because that's a, I, 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 I'm not saying I would never do it, you know what I'm saying? You know that it's going to be very, very efficient, very, very clean with a machine. But I, this channel is all about minimalism. It's all about making sense out of nothing because a lot of times, people be feeling like the number one complaint people have in life is, oh, I ain't have much. I ain't have this. I ain't had that. So then let's talk about it. Then. Let's not run away from it. Let's face these things because we want to talk about adulting, but adulting is what I'm doing right now. It's made it because you could do this literally in like, you can't do this to like uh, the hoodies and stuff. But if you go in like any restaurant, like or uh any like mcdonald's burger king blah 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 or a friend you know what i'm saying or a girlfriend house a friend you could simply just fill the tub up or fill up the sink and for like a half an hour wash i would say a half an hour is a good time i'm not sure i'm not sure but i think a half an hour is like a good time See how dirty this water is? It's crazy. And I'm just squeezing it and flipping it like that. Like pizza dough. Uh, one thing too, um, you wanna make sure you do it right because if you do it yeah, wrong, it might, you might it might kill your tools how do you wash clothes in the bathtub how to dry clothes without dryer get off my screen bro how do you wash clothes in tub now that you have your supplies it's time to manually wash your clothes the first thing you need to do Laundry in the bathtub is to fill up the tub with cool water. I put hot water. <clears throat> your only option is cool water. Don't fret cold water and detergent will still get your items clean enough for use. Next, add the detergent you need to follow the instructions of detergent you're using for the amount of garments that you're washing all right so allow the clothes to soak for a few minutes then switch them through the suds swish them through the suds water <clears throat> 
keep swishing them until garments are clean. If they aren't coming clean, scrub the problem garment of the areas. So, like, I'm going to keep it 100. It was the musk that was the reason why I couldn't even put these junks on again. Like, you know, you could, you could wear clothes a couple times. So, I'm going to just go ahead and get under the arms real quick and go like this. Just make sure that that's not, you know what I'm saying? Because it would suck to, you know, to wash and then it's still like that. That would be crazy. Let me see. Uh, three, four, five. Um, yeah, you really just want to get that must out, if anything, in my opinion, because clothes ain't really dirty. You know, they be a little dirty, but if I'm being honest with y'all, scientifically, we got stuff in our skin. You're not supposed to shower every day. Let me give you all my analogy. You're not supposed to shower every day. That's a lie. We Our skin produces things that protect us. And your skin creates little bugs. I know it sounds crazy, but so what? Produces little bugs. And these little bugs, are some of them are healthy. So at the end of the day, it is supposed to help you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I feel like it's just a limit. And you want to catch the limit and then wash and then recycle, do it all over again. But I feel like when a certain percentage of your clothes smell musty, wash them. That's it. It's that simple. I don't want to overcomplicate this because as a kid and growing up, laundry seemed like some psychological thing. And that's why they put it in, call it a cycle, put it in the washing machine, you know, the cycle. And I don't know, but it, it's psych psych psychologically as a kid, it didn't feel like I should put my hands on laundry. But now that I'm older, I see like this is actually something that you can you can do. You know what I'm saying? You could do. But just make sure you get under the arms. Because that's the most important part, in my opinion. Like I said, there are things that your your skin produces that's good for you. But, you know, we're taught that dirt is bad. You got to get, don't get dirty. Dirt is bad. No, not, not necessarily. Not necessarily. And it's, it's it become, I feel like, the more you take showers and put chemicals on your body, then you will produce dirty dirt. There's, I think it's the difference between dirty dirt and clean dirt. Just like it's a difference between good fruit and bad fruit. It's a difference between good water and bad water. You know, any element could be spoiled. So it doesn't even make sense to say it's every, every um, thing. I hope this comes out the way I want it to. Uh, it's just a black sweatshirt. I might not even wear that. But then again, I might. I don't know. But my goal real soon is just to swap all, all my clothes and change my whole wardrobe. Uh, the basics of wardrobes is just a pair of boxers, a pair of socks, and a pair of t-shirts. That's it. Especially in the summer and in the fall and in the spring. Well, the summer and the spring, preferably, but fall is a little bit t-shirt, a little bit hoodie. And then, you know, the winter, whatever, depending where you live. But, man, I just throw on whatever I want to throw on. When I wake up, I let my mind just artistically speak and I just put on something but uh I guess I gotta I guess I gotta uh empty the tub and then put cold water mm -hmm. uh 
next step is to drain the tub, fill it with cold water, and switch the clothes until the soap is removed from the garments. If you feel that like the clothes are still holding detergent, repeat, drain, fill, switch until the soap are free. Once again, the detergent is gone. Once the detergent is gone, drain the tub a final time, gently squeeze. Do not twist as this can stretch the fabric, each piece of clothing to remove the excess water. Uh, and then it's tell you how to dry clothes without, um, without a dryer. It says, now that you've washed your clothes without a washer, you might wonder how can you dry clothes without a dryer? Luckily, this is even easier. You could just use drying rack hangers or a foldable drying rack. A travel clothesline is another great option that can work really well while camping. If you are able to, are you, if you are able to utilize one of the, these outside options, your clothes will smell more fresh and dry quicker. The sunlight can also act as a natural dryer and sanitize your garments. This may not be able option where you are, but all the drying options are hand washed. Clothes mentioned above can be used indoors as well. Uh, so I gotta do this. I got to empty this and put cold water. I, I think that I've done enough. I don't think, like, I'm going to be honest with y'all. And this is why I make these these videos. I don't feel like we have to do too much. So I'm about to just... All right, because you, as you can see, the dirt came out before I even put the detergent in there. So you can see that it's not that big of a deal. But right now I'm emptying the tub, emptying the tub. I don't think this should take more than an hour at all. Really shouldn't even take more than 30 minutes. Everything I do, I try to see it was the quickest time I could do it. Cause when things take longer, it could be self. Next step is to drain the tub, fill the Fill with cool water again and swish the clothes until the soap is removed from the garment. If you feel like that, uh, this is like psychologically, like it's easy, like. I didn't even have to go. <clears throat> I didn't even have to go to this much. Uh, I don't think so. Like, I feel like when you're doing the cold, which is just to, this is the end um, process. You know, you're just literally doing the same thing. You're squeezing any uh, soap out, I guess, that should be left over inside of anything. Uh, but I honestly feel like the truth of the matter is um, I could have did this with less water, but it doesn't matter. Uh, just saying. So I'm about to see real quick. Yeah, cause I don't know if y'all going to be able to see me from this angle right here. Hopefully y'all can. If y'all can't, I'm going to feel pretty stupid. Man, 
man, when I look at the clothes, ironically enough, from doing this in the tub instead of doing this uh, in a laundry machine, certainly smell like detergent still. Um, it look like these pants still have a little bit of marks on them. That's why I feel like the plunger is the smarter option because you're like, it's first of all, it's easier to just uh, this action is easier to do than to just uh, like you know do all this and stuff like that. Right? Wash my hands like this. So I'm not going to wash every Monday, but I put it on my daily schedule for Monday. My weekly schedule, I mean, for Monday. And then uh, I guess this is like a new thing because at the end of the day, it's like you don't get better at things by never doing it again. But see, it was only four items. Um, so you start off with only a few items, three, four items. Try it. I, 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 I prefer to keep it in between 10 to three items. So. I'm right on point, but three to, you know, maybe three pairs of jeans, three shirts, and uh, three hoodies. So. But you're just never doing too much. You don't want to discourage yourself at all. It can happen. And I believe this because when you don't have no money, this channel is all about adulting and minimum minimalism. So when you don't have no money. You don't even, I ain't gonna say you don't deserve, but you don't even need to be doing too much. Like, you need to just be doing it the, the uh, bare minimum. My, uh, I forgot what he was called, like, call him an instructor. My instructor at Job Corps, like the boss, he would just always use the word bare minimum. Like, you're not even doing the bare minimum. All you have to do to pass here is do the bare minimum. He used to always say that, and it's facts. If people think like that, they'll be better men, you know what I'm saying? Or better women, whatever, because you got to figure out what your bare minimum is because everybody's bare minimum looks a little bit different. It's all the same, but it, uh, it just looks, it's just unique. It look a little different. My bare minimum is this. It's four clothes right now, four four items right now. 
like I said, I don't take showers every day. And I'm not, I don't feel like I'm weird for saying that. You feel me? It's a lot of people who don't do that, but they don't say it. But it's just like, I, I'm into like nature and stuff like that. So I just think differently. But I do take showers, though. I do take showers, still. And I enjoy them. When I, I enjoy them when I take them. I just feel like you can do anything in this world your own way. Like, right now, I don't think I'm specifically following what they told me to do. They said to wash out all of the soap. But... I feel like I'm still doing it, but I'm just doing it my own way. Life, it can't be that hard, you know what I mean? Like, it can be, but it also don't have to be. This is the last time I'm gonna vlog this book. I'm not gonna vlog this every time. This is like, maybe once, one more time. And I'm doing like pants and Yeah, and then I might do one more in the sink. You know what I'm saying? But once you know how to do this, you know how to do this. You could forget, though. Like, I don't know how to cook rice. I always forget how. And it's so simple, but I just don't really got it down yet. I feel like this is like that. Though. But it just turn it on the hot water, putting the clothes in there. Put detergent in there. Then getting it in there, scrubbing it for like 10 minutes. Then releasing the hot water, putting cold water, and then scrubbing like what I'm doing right now. You know, squeezing out the soap and water. I really smell soapy than musty any day. So even if I don't squeeze out all the soap, by the time these clothes dry, it's just gonna smell like soap. Or uh, detergent, whatever. I'm not gonna be able to wear none of these today. That's cool. Don't need to. I wonder how strong must is. Cause everybody, like, depending on how often you wash your clothes and take showers, everybody's level of must is very different. And the like this, like, if I smell it, it's like, I smell a little bit of it, but it's like, deterred. I use the word deterred because detergent is like, deterred away from like it's not as strong at all it's like weakened like it doesn't really smell like it but uh also with this black sweatshirt i didn't get under the arms the way i got under the arm um, under this so i'm gonna smell this really quick Yeah, I don't smell nothing under the arm for this. Yeah, that's gone. Happy to happy to see that. So now I know that this tub stuff is it's not too different, man. Still gonna get that stuff out, man. Still gonna get it out. And I think it also depends on the texture of the shirt. This is a sweater, so it's a little bit more like heavy. Uh, I don't know, but like I said, when you dry everything, nature, Mother Nature, gonna take care of all that anyway. When by the time it's dry, also they said before I finish this video, they said the sun, the sun, is a natural sanitizer. I'm telling y'all, Mother Nature knows what she's doing.
So when you dry your clothes, if you put them on the porch, if you put them on the porch or in your window or whatever you want to do. When I wash under undershirts and underpants and socks, I put them on my fan and turn the fan all the way up for the whole day and through the night. But if you do sweatshirts, pants, and sweat uh, and hoodies, I think the porch the porch is a smart uh, thing. And so I'm gonna um, do this last thing before I, I hang these clothes. But what that is, is I'm gonna empty the tub and then I'm gonna uh, take a towel and I'm gonna roll the clothes in the towel like a, like a, like a joint or like an egg roll or like a burrito. And I'm gonna just like step on the towel and that's gonna like, decrease the amount of um, soak soakness it's going to flatten the clothes and then i'm gonna, and then i'm gonna hang them so i'm gonna see how the next video and uh that's what i'm about to do man i'm out